Good evening. Thank you for joining us for another installment of the KTT Optometry Show. We have a special topic tonight. We're going to share tips on staying healthy for the winter. I know a lot of people are getting sick nowadays where energy is low. And so one of the main topics tonight is uh, vitamin D deficiency. And we're going to give tips at the end to, uh, to stay healthy during these winter months. So thank you for joining us again, Dana. This is my co-host, and uh, she's going to share her wisdom as well. Phương Dung xin kính chào quý vị và chúc quý vị một mùa winter ấm áp và tránh khỏi những cái bệnh flu và những cái bệnh cảm cúm. So tonight we want to talk about first the vitamin D. Mm-hmm. So people don't realize, but our body is just such intricate pieces of work. It's like a very fine-tuned machine. So when little thing is off level, it throws off everything. And so vitamin D is just an essential vitamin. It's a fat-soluble vitamin, meaning it stays in our fat cells, but it's so crucial for every part of our, our system. And so when, it, when it's too low, it can cause uh, a lot of people with children have rickets or bone deformities mm-hmm. if it's too low. Mm-hmm. But as adults, what happens is a lot of people don't know, but we, we start to have low levels of vitamin D and it can manifest in so many things. Um, one of them is low energy, mm-hmm. right? Low energy and also just fatigue. And a lot of times we don't get the north, you know, with the winter, the sun's not out as much. So we're not getting enough exposure. And so we're, our body doesn't absorb it well and we won't and convert it to vitamin D. And, and, and uh, Phương Dung also remember that you mentioned you have experienced uh, mm-hmm. vitamin C, uh, D deficiency and and was something that you didn't know. And mm-hmm. I could love you to share that Definitely. with uh, everybody because I think it's very crucial for us to understand the function of it mm-hmm. and how we go about to number one, to be able to maintain the mm-hmm. um, correct level of vitamin D and how is it be able to help us yes. to stay healthy for the winter mm-hmm. time and for going forward for the year of 2017 and many oh, more great. years. Great, I'd come. be happy to share. Yeah. Well, vitamin D is known as a happy vitamin. so. It's a sunshine vitamin and it's a happy vitamin. So for me, um, I had episodes where I had low fatigue and I just wasn't myself. I just didn't know what was wrong. Maybe was I depressed or I wasn't sure what was going on? And so my, um, my wife had recommended when I went to my annual physical with my doctor to get a full blood serum workup with vitamin D. And when we do our f- regular physical, that's never added to the panel. Mm-hmm. It's usually blood glucose mm-hmm. and you know, other uh, formulations, but never is it vitamin D tested. Um, I, I mentioned one time with this patient who's a doctor and she, she said that up in Seattle and the Pacific Northwest where the sun's not out and a lot of people suffer from seasonal affective disorder, mm-hmm. they always check for vitamin D mm-hmm. because it could manifest as masquerade as depression. Yes, um, definitely. And so personally, yeah, I was very befuddled on what was, why I was going through this. And so when I got checked, I was so low. And so my doctor recommended I, uh, take supplements. So it's very simple. Um, vitamin D supplementation is over the counter. Uh, you can get it as over the counter and there's a lot of good, reliable companies that make it. See, that's the crucial point that then I wanted to emphasize to everyone is that if you didn't know mm-hmm. that where to get the source to know that you need to check on vitamin D deficiency, you could have think that you're actually depressed. Yes. And then people could reach out for the depression pill, which it's not good for you. Sometimes they won't, yeah. It won't help to solve mm-hmm. the correct problem. Exactly. But as you do in the uh, blood test and mm-hmm. you look for the, the right source of problem, yes. then you'll be able to uh, cure it the right way mm-hmm. and then you'll be able to really go back to your normal self. Yes, um, yes. And then that's another thing that I always suggest people to do that yearly you should do a full blood <coughs> panel test. Yes. And that's include vitamin D, mm-hmm. include iron and everything mm-hmm. else because those are the, the, the crucial vitamin to really give us, number one, the uh, positive emotion, mm-hmm. uh, number two, the energy, mm-hmm. number three, that to be able to help us to not, um, um, to, to feel tired or fatigued. And, and yeah. at the end, we just end up to not doing anything at mm-hmm. all. So yeah. definitely my recommendation when you go to your doctor, ask for it because sometimes the doctor doesn't recommend it, but it should be on, I think, every, everyone because a lot of people are, are vitamin D deficient and they don't know. And so, we just got to make sure we, we, we take our of our own health, take charge of it. And so and also then I wanted to ask you to let's say we're taking calcium supplement. Mm-hmm. Why is it so important that we need to take a vitamin D um, 
yeah, because together with the calcium, because calcium by itself doesn't absorb very well, mm -hmm. but with vitamin D, it allows it to carry it into our cells. Yeah, that's, and so that's, that's I didn't know. Yeah, so I did. Yeah, I, I, I wasn't aware of that so either. I think that's another thing that I wanted people to also aware. Mm -hmm. If you take calcium supplement, you should also take vitamin D. Um, one of them, uh, and then you can ask your doctor um, how many milligram because they mm -hmm. have five hundred, a thousand. Thousand, yeah. So it depends so on what your level is. What your level mm -hmm. is. So the correct thing to do is to have a blood test panel with vitamin D, the you know, and then they will be able to tell mm -hmm. you what the right uh, vitamin D Definitely. amount to take. And some f some um, good thing is uh, in our milk, they fortify it with vitamin D, like naturally occurring foods like uh, eggs, egg yolks, mm -hmm. uh, salmon. It's full of vitamin D, so a lot of things that we eat health with, you know, is good for good for our vitamin D as well. Uh, of course, you know, as we age, or oh, doesn't matter how much we eat, we mm -hmm. still need the supplement. And, yes. And, and that's something I also want to emphasize, mm -hmm. because we don't retain as much as um, the thing that we used to retain as yep. we're young, right? That's right. So that's right. the supplement is a plus, and mm -hmm. I think it's very crucial for mm -hmm. us to take. Yep. Um, so as the winter comes, and, and as you know, everybody's sick. Mm -hmm. Flu season, yes. cold season, you know, from young adult children to like, you know, us that really get very negative energy and mm -hmm. we're tired and, and all that. So. What what are your tips of be able for us to keep ourselves healthy and happy throughout the winter time so mm -hmm. that we can start the new year happy? Yeah, and so we were going to talk about yeah. different tips. So <laughs> to answer your question, there is a lot of foods we eat, like a lot of vitamin C. There's um, garlic is actually really good for you. Ginger, mm -hmm. the natural turmeric, as we discussed in the previous yes, episode, yes. has great anti-inflammatory properties, but also great defense mm -hmm. too. Uh, another question I get sometimes is, you notice when it's cold out, why do people get more sick? Mm -hmm. The reason is because our blood vessels, it constricts more when it's cold, and mm -hmm. so the blood doesn't circulate. So the white blood cells that goes around our body that circulates to fight off infection, mm -hmm. doesn't get there. Mm -hmm. So it's not so much you know, because it's cold and sick, but also when you're more indoors, you're more exposed to a lot of pathogens, a lot of germs. So sh washing your hands is very, very critical. Mm -hmm. um, as a doctor, um, I see a lot of patients so I always make sure wash your hands. I'm exposed to many patients who unfortunately come in sick. Um, and so sometimes I'm not 100% sure about flu shots, but I usually don't get one. So do I. I, I think yeah. that um, the flu shot can go 50-50. 50, 50, yeah. It just yes. depends on there, your body. There's certain body that great with flu mm -hmm. shot. With me, if I get flu shot, I think I got sick more. Mm -hmm. I, I think the main key that we, we need to be strong to have a strong antibody so that if you never yep. have somebody that's sick, mm -hmm. you'll be able to fight it and that's not be true. able to get yeah, sick. Yeah, the with reason what, what, how mm -hmm. flu shots work is it exposes, you, gives you a, a weak flu uh, mm -hmm. virus mm -hmm. into your body. And then sometimes if you're immune compromised or your immune system's not that great, you're gonna get really sick. Mm -hmm. But if you're strong, what happens is your body will fight it off. Mm -hmm. And then you, now you have that, uh, that target. In, and so if you're exposed to that strain of uh, flu, you're gonna be, your body's gonna fight off much better. But if you're really strong and you hardly ever get sick, a lot of times it's, you know, it, it's up to, the, your, to discuss with your doctor. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, I know you have your own tips, but for, for Dana, myself, mm -hmm. I, I think the the key to it too. I'm 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 an, a skin specialist, yes. so I'm always into skin. Mm -hmm. And your skin will tell if your body healthy. Because mm -hmm. when your body healthy, your skin glow. Mm -hmm. And if you're not, and your skin will yeah, get pale right. and very really mm -hmm. tired. So the key is still hydration, mm -hmm. right? Drinks a lot of water, water. A lot of what about orange soda? juice. Um, I, I, you know, so that everybody need it once in a while when okay. you have a big hamb hamburger or mm -hmm. anything. But I think, you know, orange juice, um, lemon juice, mm -hmm. anything that have vitamin C, C in is, it, yeah. it will be a great thing for you to be hydrated mm -hmm. uh, daily. Number two, enough sleep. Because okay. I, I think that that's also a key essential that I learned for myself that mm -hmm. I don't have enough sleep. So, but for Dana, I can fight against it with all other secret that I do, but mm -hmm. not many people will be able to do mm -hmm. that. So the eight hours sleep is yeah. essential. Yeah, what sleep does in our body, it, mm -hmm. it allows our body to heal, mm -hmm. our cells to repair itself. Mm -hmm. Because we don't get enough sleep, it's gonna increase our stress, our, our immune system's gonna go down, so you're gonna get more sick. So it's a whole uh, cascade, you know, so sleep is essential. And you recommend about eight to nine? Eight hour to nine, nine. yeah, if nine. you can. Mm -hmm. um, some people need less, some people need mm -hmm. more, but, but so it's on your body. It's probably ideal. And, and then uh, the third thing will be eating healthy. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we, we snack, 
daily and if you want if you that type of person that you snack daily and during the day instead of on chocolate or chips mm -hmm. uh, you may want to bring like you know cucumber mm -hmm. um, celery some orange um, sticks so orange, orange sticks, so yeah. those things that you can be able to munch but it's still very healthy for mm -hmm. you um, and number four for me it's always regimen for my skin mm -hmm. because like I said we even though we eat we sleep healthy we still need a supplement mm -hmm. from the outside to uh -huh. really complete the inside out approach so if you have a regimen at home remember to maintain it and keep it consistent because mm -hmm. having a great regimen and not using it consistently mm -hmm. you won't get the result either mm -hmm. and and they always emphasize about vitamin c and hyaluronic acid mm -hmm. that's the two that will hydrate your skin mm -hmm. and that also help with anti-aging and also give you that glow so mm -hmm. that's a, my tip to to stay healthy and of course happy thought i'm going to give you all that energy mm -hmm. so so think about something healthy. and then uh, another key one i yeah. mention is i always talk about is exercise yes mm -hmm. you know it's cold in the mornings i haven't been able to ride as much but that's no excuse we just still got to get our blood pumping because what exercise does is pumps our blood so it causes um, it allows the, the, the white blood cells mm -hmm. to help fight infections uh -huh. and we sweat and so that discretes toxins and that's going to help us. I know it's actually sick. hard because the winter it's hard. Time, it's it's so hard. cold and it's we cold like and to get cozy and mad. I'm the type of person, <laughs> I, I, I even have to like, you know, admit that I haven't stopped exercising this year yet because then I kind of like to hibernate in the winter time. Yes, but yes. definitely exercise will help a lot mm -hmm. to really generate uh, positive energy generate all of that you yeah know, it's key key it's very key, key to, it's to one of the uh, winter as well that's right mm -hmm. so um to wrap up our show i think yeah we sh thank you for sharing your great tips and thank you for joining us tonight have a great night bntv good night thank you okay.